Hi everybody, welcome to All Sisters Live. Hey guys, my name is Paige. I'm Michelle. And, and Mary Beth. And I have the pleasure, we have the pleasure of doing a brief introduction with one of our wonderful members of Young Living, one of my great downlines, and I don't I hate to say downlines, one of my well, she's one of my best friends for 18 years, and she's absolutely the most talented, talented. therapist that I've ever met in my life. She's just hands-on, and she's just amazing. And so, let me let you talk, let me let Michelle tell you a little bit about Mary Beth's certifications. Oh, and I also want to mention, Mary Beth is the, I don't want to say massage therapist, because that would do your job well, me... injustice, to Kevin Durant, one of the top 10 athletes in the world. So, a little bit, Mary Beth and our kids, all of our kids, went to school together, and they have been, remained best friends, like chumming around. Mary Beth and I have remained friends, our kids are friends, and this is her very best friend. And so we're glad to be together, we're trying, going to try not to laugh because we crack each other up. So, <laughs> I'm going to give you a little bit of background about Mary Beth. Um, she works for Structure Balance, which opened in 2007, located in New Orleans. They specialize in corrective body work by using innovative and varied techniques to help our, their clients be pain free, live a pain-free life. They um, work benefits anyone who suffers from musculoskeletal pain or any sports-related injuries. That's what they, they assess their problems and then they customize a uh, program to help them live a pain-free life. And she is wonderful what she does. I was there when she started her massage career years ago. Um, and I've watched her blossom into, in fact, she's got, she is, works for the top 10 athletes in the country um, with them, for them. And so she's very popular. So anyway, so we love Mary Beth and we wanted to share her with y'all today and let her, because we have two nice streets today and this is the first one. This is one of the best. So Mary Beth, so tell Mary Beth, what you do. why don't you talk and then maybe mm -hmm. you can tell us some tips on maintaining youth in a, in a physical way. Okay, um, I guess the first thing I would start with is saying how when you are structurally aligned and muscles aren't tight, that aren't supposed to be tight on a daily basis and muscles are overstretched, that's where you're going to start having your pain and you're going to have different patterns that you're going to develop and it's going to cause, you know, muscles to pull bones and then you're going to have joint pain and so forth and so forth. So basically, um, the best way to do it is to come up with a plan that you're going to work, you know, on a daily basis to have a stretching and strengthening program. Like I tell my clients, everybody's not made to go to the gym. Everybody's not made to do CrossFit. Everybody can't do yoga, but everybody can know their bodies and know what's causing pain and know how to stretch and know how to strengthen it. So what we do is usually people will present with a problem and it's most of the time I find from our sleep patterns or our daily repetitive patterns we do, whether it's crossing our legs, whether it's sitting on our foot, whatever it may be. So, if anybody has any specific questions they'd like to ask, I can answer, but... Mary Beth can tell by the way your gait, the way you walk, she can tell you exactly the pain you're feeling before you even tell her. Look, I was going to say, when Mary Beth worked on me before, my, my traps are so big, it's they're like football players, but that's years of gymnastics, cheerleading, and holding my arms like this, doing hair. So she knows when she would massage me, I was, it was all, it was horrible. It's still horrible, but it's not as bad. But like for me, stretching my back and opening up my pecs and all, what else would I do? I mean, if you have a hairdresser or anybody that just has upper body, you know, needs upper body stretching and whatever. Well, the main thing is to look at your posture. We can all look at our own posture. If you find yourself forwardly rotated, that means that the front of you is going to be too tight. So you're going to want to open up the back by stretching and, you know, I can't, of course, show this in tight quarters, but, you know, you just got to kind of open up what's tight and you figure that out through looking at your posture or seeing somebody like myself, you know, to get a postural assessment and, you know, see what muscles are too tight on you. Like if you're 
outer part of your hips are too tight and your inner part of your legs too weak, you're gonna have awful hip pain. You're gonna have knee pain. This is where it all starts from. So then once that begins, then you start the patterns of limping or accommodating your gait or whatever it may be. And then you're gonna start to have the, you know, problems with, you know, joint pain with knee replacements, hip replacements. You know, as we get older, these are the things mm -hmm. we have to, you know, watch out for. You know, Mary Beth was the person who, in London, looked at me and said, get sober because I can't be with another friend who is gonna overdose. So she is so near and dear to me. But she's also so brilliant that for years you've been telling me, I've been saying, oh, my, my RA, my RA, and she's like, mm-mm. I knew it was your diet it was because diet. not only do I do structural balance that's where young living has taken me to another level because it is more about wellness than anything because if you don't feel good if you don't have the energy you're not going to want to get up and stretch you're not going to want to move if you're not moving and as cliche as it sounds if you don't use it you, you lose, lose it it, yep. it is so true and I noticed that just from myself when I take a lapse of a week off of not doing my physical work you know so I start to ache and it's because I'm not physically working I'm not going to the gym I'm not a big gym guru as everybody wants to say you know oh you don't do this well I might not get my cardio in and burn my calories but I stretch I wouldn't be doing this job for 15 years let me answer this question so, so say if somebody doesn't have an injury okay per se like I don't have an injury I'm just older and being so active when I was younger I'm feeling the effects of that running on concrete you know yep. just all of that stuff so is there a plan that somebody can just come in and get stretched not so much worked on for a particular injury but to keep them you know, flexible, more flexible. I mean, I could still do the splits, but I'm just saying, I'm just... No, they're you know. absolutely... I mean, like I say to my clients, number one, I was taught we don't sign up memberships. Right. Like, if you're continually coming to me, mm -hmm. there's a problem because right. you're not learning what I'm trying to teach you, that this is everyday homework. Right. You need to get up in the morning and you need to open up your pec minors that you've just slept on your shoulders and they've been shortened for the last four or five hours, you need to get up and open that up, give it right. some blood, and it doesn't take much. You know what's the best analogy you tell me? Is that to, when I stretch, is to like a pencil in yeah. my... Yep, in like you're holding a holding pencil it. between your scapula. Right. And that that's a really good stretch. We also probably should mention that Mary Beth is not actively taking clients. This is for informational purposes yes, only. only. <laughs> <She's> but, <too. laughs> so anyway, Mary Beth does have a very, very long list of famous persons that she works on one specific right now that she's working on that she's really about to get intense with um, which is mr. Kevin Durant um, we what, all know y'all saw his injury so yeah and Mary Beth was there with him the whole time which we just they have a very special relationship and I think that the oils have helped him so what is your um, well I know the oils that we make him but if we, what is some of his favorite oils? What do you think that Valor by far. Valor. By far. And, you know, now I incorporate oils into my work where, you know, you'll get people that will embrace them and you'll get some that just don't even want to really know about it. They might think, you know, their own opinion about it, but I'll still take it and use it. You know, I just know the different things. You know, I love Deep Relief. I use that a lot. And you use the cool tool. Yeah, I use the Cool Azul, but you know, like I say, I do more stretching, so I'm not in there rubbing oils and lotions and not like that the kind of stuff. I used to go get no, it. it's totally different. No. Yes, and I used to get the full body massage, and I mean, I had knots, but this is different, and I've never. Yeah, I do. You know, I right, go to Mary Beth, and right. it's painful, yeah. but it, but it's because she's stretching you out where we're never, you know. It's well, stretching. you're taking you're short like, muscles, and you're. Yeah. It's like I use the analogy and. I'm known for this analogy because it's just so a visual for us. When muscle becomes ischemic and short and loss of blood flow, which is ischemic, it becomes like a beef jerky. It's meat, but it's dehydrated. So then we want to take that and we want to turn it into more of a healthy meat. 
And, you know, we don't like to visualize that, but that's what our muscles are. And that's exactly what happens. So when it gets to that point of dehydration and repetitive use and short and tight and all the other, you know, things, things we can right. use to describe it, it becomes fibrous. And that's when you get your strains and your tears, so forth and so forth. What's one of the supplements that you would recommend for everybody to use on a daily basis, say if they don't ever come and get stretched or go to a place like yours, or whatever. What would be Omega something? Omega Jaws. Okay, Omega Jaws. Okay, yeah, Omega, Omega Jaws. If you don't have it, get it. And what about Agilees? My favorite. I've um, I have not experimented with Agilees. I'm need, in the process you've of it. Got to. You're I'm taking it as changer. we speak. Okay, game changer. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And of course, Nature. You know how we all love our Nature, right? Yeah. Absolutely. I think that's probably the, the benchmark of all nutrition. Okay. With young so women. let me ask the question that probably everyone's thinking. So what do you do for the injury? What do you do for an injury if I tore something like your clients? What would you, I mean, what do you? Well, first of all, you know, I'm whatever kind of at the bottom of the totem pole. Mm -hmm. You know, you have your medical doctors, right. then you have your physical therapist, and then you have your therapists like me that specialize. You know, I have a massage license and I have a, you know, personal training certification so you can you know tell people stretches to do and to know what you're doing you have to know you know your place in, right. the, role. in, in the role so right. i'm not going to be doing so, any of that level of, i mean like for as far as young living like what you're going to be obviously helping him rec recover oh absolutely okay so what would you what oils would you use or supplements i mean obviously what you said valor well Mando. i'm definitely going in with helichrysum and frankincense helichrysum <laughs> it's the bottom no doubt. Yes. yes. Okay. That well, will you. be the two that I will be using heavily and um, you know, just slowly rehabbing. Same. You know, hydrating, nutrition, magnesium's very important. I love the cow man. Mm -hmm. yeah, well. well thanks, Mary Beth. Yes, so we thank you. To pop thank on. you. We wanted to showcase. Thank our you for friend. having me. Yeah. Yes. She, she's a big deal. She is she a big is deal. A big oh deal. yeah. She's the shit, people. She's I the love shit. my work. <laughs> she does. And y'all, she's been like this. She's never changed since I met her when our kids were four years old. Nope. And she's straight up shooter and she's gonna tell it like it is. And that's what I love about her. Yes. So anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. And we have another um hot guest coming on probably in the next forty five minutes from now. <laughs> so be ready. We're yes. coming. Bye guys. Right, bye. Have a good day. <laughs>